Cyfex, leading technology for your production. Seekadia Builder, build preparation for ear molds. A multi-layer build with 92 ear pieces created within minutes. New build job, selecting the printer. Rapid shape AJ20+. We intend to set up a print job with three layers. Firstly, we create the layers and columns. The ear molds will be added in a second step. On the left, the STL files are arranged according to style. This arrangement can be modified, one can organize them according to resin color, for example. We select all receiver and canal ear molds. A maximum number of rigs is positioned on the base layer. Support structures have been added automatically too. We switch to the next layer and a further maximum number of rigs is automatically added and nested. By clicking the Add Supports button, we add support structures. Now the top layer is activated. We again nest the ear mold models and add support structures. We preview the entire print job. 92 ear pieces are ready for printing. With a click on the export button, a dialog appears. It is possible to change export parameters here, but we accept the preset ones. A PDF report will be generated and will open automatically. The PDF print job report is shown. The ear molds are numbered and thus uniquely identifiable. In addition, there is a barcode for each earpiece, which lends itself to automation in the workflow. The report may also play a significant role in order traceability and thus quality management. Cyfex Seekadia Builder creates build jobs within minutes. Creating and fine-tuning a single layer build with rigs, ITEs, skeleton ear molds, IEMs and injection molds. Review of printer setups. Currently, the Rapid Shape AJ20 Plus printer is selected. Many more printer setups of all major brands are stored in the background and could be activated. We continue with the Rapid Shape AJ20 Plus printer though. We click on the Link Models button in order to make sure that the left and right earpiece belonging to the same person are processed together. All models are added to the platform. Those with cones are placed flush on the base plate. The others are placed with an offset and structures underpinning them are automatically created. The injection mold models standing on their cones extend outward. These overhangs need to be supported. We choose the support type and launch the function create supports for the active models shown in green. Since the platform is not full, we crop it to save on resin. 
we review our build. All the models have been added. The list on the left hand side of the screen confirms it. We click on the export button and the export dialog appears. A PDF print job report opens automatically. We can see clearly here that the models are not very tightly nested, but as a trade-off the left and right models are close to each other and are connected by a line. Let us look again at our build. There is a little secret to the injection mold support cones. They double as funnels for the introduction of soft silicone. This saves time and effort when detaching and post-processing the printed models.